I'm Ram Gupta with the Penn IIT. This session is a very important session. It's called Wheels Applying Technology to Scale Philanthropy. Our moderator for the evening is Suresh Shinoy. Suresh has been a wonderful supporter of the IIT system and Pan IIT itself. In fact, the Wheels organization was formed from Pan IIT to support nonprofit work outside of Pan IIT. I've known Suresh here in Maryland now for about 12 years. Fantastic individual, an IIT Bombay graduate. And at this time, without taking too much time, I'm going to introduce Suresh to moderate the session. Suresh? Thank you, uh, Ron. Greatly appreciate your introduction. Uh, congratulations on a wonderful event that you have put together with so many speakers. Uh, it is a privilege to speak to fellow IIT alumni and others. Uh, just by way of a background, Wheels Global Foundation was founded in 2006 in response to a challenge by the late President Abdul Kalam to solve the quote unquote big problems faced by India, the United States, and perhaps the rest of the world. But he didn't tell us what those big problems might be. A group of IIT alumni led by Chairman of Pan IIT at the time, Rajat Gupta, and several academic, uh, academics such as uh, Pradeep Khosla and others were involved. And we brainstormed uh, at a meeting which was also uh, attended by Kapil Sibyl who was the Minister of HRD and by Mr. Sam Pitroda who at that time was the Chairman of the Knowledge Commission. And we identified the six areas that offer the biggest challenge to, all the, uh, to India and perhaps the rest of the world had to do with access to clean potable water, affordable healthcare, renewable energy, education, livelihoods, and sustainability. And based on those six areas, you know, that's the acronym for BEALS, we also had a brainstorming session as to how does IIT add value to solving these problems? And clearly as engineers, you know, it, we agreed that the way to do it would be through technology solutions that will help to scale these efforts for millions of people who in India, in this case, you know, there are 700 million people who live in the rural areas. So how do we make it possible for them to have access to this? And after 17 years, you know, we are pleased to see that these goals are also completely in sync with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals that were developed in 2017. And since 2006, we established Wheels Global Foundation as a 501c3 uh, entity, a not-for-profit entity, and also as an ATG company in India. And we have since then done a lot of projects, uh, both in the United States as well as in India. And I'm glad that we have my colleagues here uh, Ron Mehta and Ambassador Pradeep Kapoor joining me to say a few words about what those projects are. Uh, Ron Mehta is an alumnus of uh, IIT Bombay, uh, class of 70. Uh, he is a philanthropist, a very successful entrepreneur, and uh, he is now leading a, a venture that uh, we started together with uh, Nishworth Foundation by a uh, gentleman by the name of Chirag Patel, and Ron will speak more about it, for research and development and solving problems related to water and sanitation. Ron, uh, over to you. Thank you, Suresh. Uh, it's a pleasure to join this wonderful global conference. And let me take my a little bit of time to tell you what happened. It was a set of really uh, coincidental purposes. We were having our gala for Wheels Global Foundation in New York several years ago, about three years ago. And 
since I am the co-director of the Water Leg for Wheels, that's the W of Wheels, I went to a guy who I had not known before. I was told that he was a very quiet, but a very philanthropic uh, Indian, uh, Indian American billionaire called Chirag Patel, who had started a generic pharma company called Amnil Pharmaceuticals in the US, not in India, in the US. So I went to him seeking for $50,000 in donation. And what he told me was he surely will give us that $50,000 to build five drinking water plants in remote villages in Gujarat. But he said he has, he thinks the world of IITNs, he himself is a commerce graduate, but he wanted to tie up with IITNs in the US to solve India's problems in water and sanitation or assist in assist in developing solutions in water and sanitation and in maternal and child health. And the other requirement was that he wanted to establish that in and around Ahmedabad, which is where he came from, which was kind of music to my ears because even I come originally from Ahmedabad. So he did not even know that there was an IIT in Gandhinagar. So very quickly we formed what is called as Wheels India Niswark Foundation. And he seeded it with a promised donation of $2 million that he has fulfilled over the last little more than two years. We had developed and actually assigned significant amount of grants to several IITs. And let me start with the water and sanitation side. At IIT Kharagpur, we are funding little more than um, more than a little crore of rupees to take a slipstream from IIT Kharagpur's sewage system and go through a series of novel and innovative treatment systems, which will render the sewage water to portable drinking water at a very affordable cost. Unfortunately, the plant was built, but COVID uh, kind of stopped it. The other project we are doing at IIT Bombay involves a chemistry professor who has taken an alternate route or instead of using reverse osmosis to use capacitive deionization to treat highly contaminated groundwater to make it drinking uh, water standards. That has tremendous merit and it is a possibility that we might be able to spin that off into a commercial venture. The power used for cleaning a five liter flask of dirty water is as low as a double A battery and using carbon nanotubes. We have also dealt there with Professor Bakul Rao of Sitara to develop um, you know, entire town-based water and sanitation planning. At IIT Gandhinagar, we have given grants to do research work in advanced uh, technology for arsenic removal to take a non-electric um, system to basically remove 99.99% of the biological bacteria coliform and several other areas like that. We have also worked with NGOs in Kutch in, a, in assignment with Tata Power CSR to participatory groundwater management which has greatly improved the water table and reduced the salinity. We are also heavily involved in uh, basically in maternal and child health. And there we have been able to fund significantly training the Treyer concept by actually taking uh, concepts in maternal and child health and nutrition and putting them on spoken tutorials. This is just some of the way in which Wheels in connection with now with Wind Foundation has been able to do a lot of work. Please go on our booth uh, through Wheels Global Foundation and you will find more details. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ron. You know, if I might add, uh, those uh, uh, tutorials that were created were then translated by spoken tutorials into all the local Indian languages and distributed through Ekal Vidyalay to, to 79,000 villages. So it was an excellent example where IIT alumni collaborated with other NGOs, with other donors, and also used technology to get massive scale from the work that you guys were doing 
at IIT Gandhinagar and Indian Institute of Public Health, etc. Uh, very briefly, when it comes to healthcare, in the second H, if you will, in the WHEELS uh, acronym, we have started doing some uh, phenomenal work in Andhra Pradesh as well as in a, in a, a, in a cluster of seven villages in Haravali district with telemedicine offices. Uh, we work collaboratively with a couple of other NGOs, SEVAX, which was started by API, the Association of Physicians of Indian Origin in America, and also with Mission Samriddhi in, in Gujarat. And uh, these telemedicine officers use a platform called Evolco that uses artificial intelligence and other technologies for doing some pre-diagnostics work and then uh, providing uh, uh, you know, uh, connectivity with local regional hospitals to deliver healthcare. Uh, we are now in the process of rolling out six of these in Andhra Pradesh, four in Aravalli, and one in UP in Lakhimpur. So the point here is again, applying new technologies and emerging technologies to address these very difficult problems in remote rural areas. Uh, but one of the things we also found is that, you know, we, we cannot look at this in, in silos of just water or only sanitation or only healthcare. They, in order to provide proper health, you need good health, good water, clean water, et cetera. So we developed something called the Integrated Smart Village Program. And that is being headed up by Ambassador Pradeep Kapoor. He's an alumnus of IIT Delhi. He's an uh, IAF, IFS officer. He was India's ambassador to Chile and Cambodia and a prolific author. His latest book, which, is, which talks about life after COVID, if you will, post-COVID, healthcare issues is become has become a bestseller on Amazon. So please welcome Ambassador Kapoor. We will talk about smart villages. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Suresh. So uh, just one quick word about the book before I start about the smart village projects. Uh, the book title is Beyond COVID, Envisioning a Better World by Transforming the Future of Healthcare. It has uh, come on to become the Amazon bestseller uh, in healthcare and in public policy. It's also received some awards, Health for All Award and Excellence in Literature Award. So we hope that, uh, you know, the listeners today will be able to participate in the conversation, uh, considering that the times we are passing through, which are very, very difficult, very unique, which has something which has not happened or occurred in maybe more than a century now, more than 100 years. So uh, coming to this integrated, uh, you know, look at the villages to see how we can intervene in a manner which will make them develop holistically. So we develop this, you know, process which is called the Smart Village Development Initiative. Smart, not as in smart, smart or as in smart cities, but unique to the villages and smart standing for uh, you know, the S in the SMART stands for strengths of the community that we are working with, the rural communities. M is for measurement of the impact, measurement of success, measurement of the status where the villages are in terms of different parameters, whether it is health or water or sanitation or education or livelihoods or sustainability. A is for appropriate technologies, appropriate interventions, which are beneficial in the long run and which do not have too many downsides for the rural community. The rural community being a very large community in the world. And we are trying to bring focus upon them and their needs and their requirements and their, uh, you know, sort of participation contribution, involvement. R is for replicable, where we can scale up these projects, not only in the villages of India, and you have a population in India of uh, the rural community, which is more than most countries of the world today. Just the rural population in India is more than 700 million people, which is twice that of the US, for example. So it's a very large community you're dealing with. And if you put together the rural communities, in different countries and different continents of the world, it is more than half the population of the world. And that is not a 
population where most of the development banks like the World Bank or IMF or the Inter-American Development Bank or the other development banks focus upon as much as they should be doing. And T is for technology where you have, you know, the strengths of the IITs, the IIT alumni who are coming in as partners in the process of development with the rural community. So we have decided, for example, to use one particular model which has been developed by one of the IAS officers of Gujarat, Dr. Jayanti Ravi, who is a partner with us in this very interesting and exciting journey. Uh, and that is called SEHU model. SEHU standing for Social Empowerment for Human Upliftment, where you have a development flower and the petals of the development flower depict the different verticals of growth and development, like health, like water. So each petal, depending on the access and the equity, the petal coloration increases. So the villagers can also understand the status where they are at in terms of all these different aspects. If the access to a particular sector is more, the coloration of the length increases. If the equity is better, then the breadth of the coloration or the breadth increases. So it's very easy for anybody to understand. Now, in this journey, in this venture, we have defined all our partners as development accelerators. So we are not talking about the government as being they and, you know, sitting on the other side of the table. We want to put everybody on the same side of the table. So we call them development accelerators. And we are having continuous conversations with a large number of departments of the government also and partnerships, including the Ministry of Panchayati Raj in India, the Ministry of Rural Development, the National Institute of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj, which is in Hyderabad, and also the Niti Aayog, which has already taken us as one of the partners in innovation and social entrepreneurship and technology. Now, uh, what I would request here is that you know, all those people who are listening today, you heard, many of you or most of you would have heard the speech by Prime Minister Modi yesterday at the inaugural function. We were very happy that he agreed to come and give the inaugural keynote uh, address to millions of people because it was being live streamed on a large number of TV stations in India and all over the world. So it is, I guess, for the pan IIT also, it's a matter of great pride. And for the wheels also, it's a matter of great pride that we were able to request the Prime Minister to come in and give the inaugural keynote. So that has brought in the maximum number of eyeballs ever to a pan IIT event till today. So it's a very big milestone for us. Now, listening to his speech, I'm sure a lot of us would have been very, very inspired to contribute in whatever way we can. So what we are asking you is the following. Start your contribution as early as possible, maybe today. Whether it is through your time or through your talent or through your treasure. This is not my original quote, by the way. This is stolen from Suresh Shanoi, <laughs> the president of Wheels. But and you are living in the US or wherever in the world, that is your karma bhumi. You were born mostly in India, so that is your Janma Bhumi. So please do whatever you can for both your Janma Bhumi and your Karma Bhumi. We already have projects on the ground. We have a very great pilot going on in Gujarat, in Arabli district, which is, you know, a great experiment in this holistic development and intervention by a large number of organizations which are very outstanding, like the Mission Samridhi which has a great footprint, which is our uh, very strong partner on the ground, which has a pan-India footprint. We have a Surgeon Foundation, which is based out of Gujarat. We have a global partner, which is IEEE Integrated Smart Village. We have Stanford University, the Ideal Village partner. So we have large number of partners nationally, regionally, globally. And we also have very specific project partners such as Wind Foundation, Ron Mehta is here, he just spoke about it. We have, for example, Bosch Foundation. Bosch is doing in Aravli training of trainers. It is also doing training of the village folk, whereby it guarantees employment to the people who undergo the training, 100% employment guarantee. 
so we are doing whatever we are doing is basically born of the people for the people by the people there is piramal foundation working with us on the water aspects there is the health council working on telemedicine aspects but what i want to leave you with a thought is our focus is also on involving the organizations through the cii cii is a partner of ours so the corporate sector is partnering with us and most importantly the university sectors in india through the unnat bharat abhiyan and particularly specifically the iits through the iit directors iit faculty and most importantly our most important constituency is the iit students so we have had students from iit madras in the aravli project before we started partnering with it we have students from iit tirupati who came in after we started partnering with it who have done a lot of work on the save model Thank we have you. had 120 120 students from IIT Gandhinagar and IIT Bombay who have come out with great business proposals. Log on to our website to see which proposals you want to support for business purposes, where you will grow the village through partnership with the villagers and the rural communities. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. We are unfortunately limited with very little time. So I have one question for uh, for Ron. Uh, Ambassador Kapoor talked about how everybody can get engaged uh, with Wheels and with Win Foundation. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on how the alumni that are at this conference here talk about retail giving. Uh, the large contributors in the IIT ecosystem have done a lot of work, but how can this person who wants to give $500 or $1,000, how do they contribute? to applying technology to solve these problems and participate in what you are doing at IIT Gandhinagar and elsewhere. Suresh, currently, Win Foundation, the way it has been established, we have a sole donor. And it was his desire that before we involve even the government or any, um, any um, administrative bodies, we first try and find solutions on our own. And we have not essentially looked out for other funding from retail donors, as you mentioned. So we are planning to change that. We are going to discuss this at our upcoming board meeting. And we'll probably end up doing, coming up with some idea in 2021. But in the meantime, I suggest they go on Wheels Global Foundation, wheelsglobal.org, and you can pick the donate button and you'll see six of those tracks and you can pick and choose what areas you want to do. We also have our icon showing up on the Wheels uh, site. So that is one way, but right now we don't have a mechanism for retail donors at Win Foundation. Thank you. Uh, actually, our virtual booth uh, and kiosk, uh, which is here at the conference, has got several uh, portals through which you can get additional information on how to participate with Wheels. But we are very much aligned with the, the Prime Minister and several other speakers who have talked about how technology needs to be applied to benefit and uplift the 700 million people who live in villages. Uh, for $1,000, for example, we can easily set up a telemedicine office and we can also do clean water projects for less than $2,500 or $3,500. And uh, there's a whole slew of ways in which people can participate. I see Viti is on the uh, call now. Viti is uh, also a board member of Wheel. So welcome Viti. And I know we are out of time. So over to you. Thank you, Suresh. Thank you. First of all, I apologize. Running four or five panels at the same time, I've been dragged in every direction. So I was late for this panel. But I really appreciate you guys making time to come on to this panel and, and, and discuss or tell your thought process to the whole world. You might be aware uh, 10,000 plus people are logged in right now watching you live around from the 40 different countries. So whatever message you have given that has gone to all the people. And uh, as Sandy, the president Pan IIT says, as I'm saying as a vice chair for the conference, Pan IIT is always there to support wheels, whatever you guys are doing. And we are part of wheel. Wheel started from Pan IIT. That is correct, yes. So, so we are one body with two different names. So we go hand in hand. So uh, that's all I have to say, but thank you to Ambassador uh, Kapoor, Ron, 
uh, of course, Suresh, you and all the wheels uh, board members. I am one of them, of course. But whatever uh, you have done, that's great. Hats off to you guys. Well, thank you. We thank are looking you. for thank new you. blood. We are looking for new leadership. And thanks for providing us this platform. Thank you very much. Thank you so Always much. Always welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.